Hey guys, welcome to the review show. My name's Austin, and a man called Otto stars Tom Hanks. A young family moves next door, and a grumpy na a man named Otto Anderson meets his match in a quick wit pregnant woman named Marcel, leading to an unlikely friendship that turns his world upside down. First review of 2023, we actually start on a good, good note. I mean, I saw two other movies after this, so... It, those weren't that that good um so i kind of just wanted to start on a good note i guess and so a man named uh called auto i keep calling it the man a man named auto all right it wasn't really up my like high list of things i saw a tr i saw the trailer i was like oh, okay this could be funny this could be fun i like tom hanks and i came out enjoying it this is based off a novel it's like uh the trailer's called the best like a uh, best-selling novel uh, uh no, novel words which is of course like to get people in the seats that every every movie does that and this movie actually has some um like a dark uh dark theme going around it it starts off with some dark things and it's like oh wow didn't know that's what this i didn't know that we're going there okay because i'm from the looks of the trailer it just seems like it's a grumpy man that is in this neighborhood and things are kind of changing and he doesn't like that. But when you actually sit down and watch the movie, there's a lot more meaning behind it. And it really it really shows in the work and it's really well done. The story is basically uh, around this guy named Otto and he lost his uh, wife a, f uh, a few months back. And we kind of learn how his uh, how he met his wife, you know, this, uh, and what a certain, and what their, uh, what their life was together. In some form, and the what, and I really enjoyed this back and forthness where it's sort of uh, through it's through Otto, and it's more of a memory. You know, he's just sitting there one moment, and he is like replaying a memory, and he's also voicing the words. So it's not just like he sat there and it's like, all right, memory time. It, he's actually wording the things out, and it also has a meeting with with the scene. And it connects with the scene that goes on and what comes after it. And so there's like this nice connection with, with the two. And it really works in the film. It's just not a meaningless um, backstory. Especially uh, when this new family comes along. And kind of gives him a second chance of, of life that he couldn't do. and Or, well, he was something that was taken from him. And it really works in that way. And he gets to see that perspective and like and experienced something that he lost and it was it was really well done in that way and i really like that they you know this that of this story and like how second chances will come your way and you will always have another chance down the line and it really it really shows in the writing and it shows in the story the acting tom hanks play playing as a grumpy man it really does well i think one of my favorite scenes of this is when he uh, is fighting this clown basically well he doesn't fight the clown but he punches the clown and it's pretty funny it's actually hilarious so this new family comes along and he you know he's, kinda, he's like kind of gets annoyed with them like at some point but he also offers to help them out like he try um the wife um that is played by uh marina i have no idea her last name but she um doesn't know how to drive and so he kind of teaches her how to drive and he kind of um, helps out with the kids. Um, the father is kind of like klutz in the movie, so he kind of has nothing really to do. He's just there to be um, the comedy relief. When Tom Hanks is sort of already taking that role by being a grumpy old man, so it's kind of so his character is kind of just there. And there's some other characters I find annoying, like uh, this one neighbor character that. Uh, that does like these morning walks or like morning stretches, uh, stretches. and it's kind of very annoying. I I don't I didn't really like certain characters in the movie. Um, even even there's like one part in the backstory where he uh, where through the memories of Otto, um, you know, getting to know his wife or whatever, like his future wife, when they finally like no. Um, were in a relationship, it kind of just felt rushed or in a way of forced. And it's kind of felt like, oh, okay, this doesn't really, I mean, sure, yeah, he's a nice guy, but I don't think that's very convincing enough for you to, you know, kiss or anything. So it's like, it felt, it felt really weird. 
in, in that aspect, and certain characters kind of, you know, sort of drag the film. But whenever Tom Hanks is on screen, whenever we're learning more about what happened to his wife, and, you know, when he's helping the family out, while also the father's kind of just being there, sort of um, just getting himself hurt and not knowing what to do, um, it, it's really good, and I enjoy that aspect of it. And, you know, also Tom Hanks sort of teaching this uh, new kid the ropes of of this neighborhood and there's a lot there's a lot of good stuff about this movie and i highly recommend going out to see and uh but there is some points where you just do feel the drag on the movie where it's like okay this is getting really long now i'm going to give a man called auto a b plus really enjoyed it tom hanks um does really well in the film and so and especially everyone um even the characters that don't have that much impact on the film that i didn't really find um you know, useful or I found annoying, do also have a good, like, have a good performance in the film, and uh, I really liked it, and so I highly recommend it. Go check it out if you guys are a huge, like, novel fan. If you, even if you read the book, I think you will enjoy this. I haven't read the book myself, but I'm pretty sure you might notice certain things. Take it out. I don't know. I don't know what's the difference between the movie and the book, but from the movie aspect, I really did, a lot, uh, I did like so hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thank you for, very much for watching. Like always, I'll see you guys in the next review. Bye, guys.